On this episode of The Lonely Ad, I'm going to help you bring a little New Orleans flavor into your kitchen with a healthy take on Giacomo's shrimp and alligator sausage cheesecake. Oh, que rico. That's so good. Well, we'll start off with the crust. The crust is usually breadcrumbs and butter. So instead of that, what we're doing is using these wasa crackers, light and crisp. For the filling, we're using almond milk, eggs, and low sodium ricotta cheese. We also have cut up vegetables for the filling. It's a mixture of onions and peppers. And you can't have shrimp and alligator cheesecake without the shrimp and the alligator. Final component to our shrimp and alligator sausage cheesecake is the flavor. So we have a seasoning blend that has paprika, garlic powder, a lot of herbs, but mainly no salt. We're gonna start our filling by sauteing our mixed vegetables. I'll also add a little basil oil that I actually made using herbs from our herb garden. Now it's time to saute our alligator sausage. I have the pan preheated. I just want to get these nice and crispy. After they're sauteed, we're going to add our shrimp to the same pan. I'm trying not to eat one right now because they're hot, but they look so good. But we're going to add our shrimp right into the pan. Don't worry if you have a little bit of residue from the alligator sausage in there. That'll be fine, we just wanna get our shrimp nice and crispy. You might need to make a couple batches so you don't overcrowd the pan, like I just did. The important thing about managing your kitchen is making sure your crew does not mutiny. So I've prepared this little taster kebab. Oh, que rico, that's so good. We have all our components here, it's time to plate. Using a light and crisp cracker as our crust. Next, I'll take the cheesecake out of the tin. Next, we'll add these perfectly cooked seared shrimp. 